Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here. Got a video for you guys today of the gloves. I'm so excited to, to get these in the collection. Um, these came out the other week. Actually, they came out this week in Nike Store and then other uh, retailers last week. So I, I don't understand why they actually did it in two different weeks. But regardless, I ended up getting these from a subscriber. And I, for the life of me, I can, couldn't find the tweet. So I apologize for not giving you proper credit, man. But uh, a subscriber hit me up on Twitter. I sent out a message saying I was looking for the gloves or something, I think. He wrote back and he linked me to the Shoe Palace. And I believe it was a Shoe Palace. Let me double check the thing. Yeah, shoepalace.com. And I clicked the link and like ordered the shoes and like it went through like seamless. I didn't have any problems at all. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I even wrote back to people. I was like, is Shoe Palace legit? Because I've never uh, bought anything through them before. And uh, sure enough, it worked. It was legit. They, they shipped out, um, got to me this last week, and I just um, now get into a video. But um but shout out to the subscribers you guys are awesome dude i really do appreciate the lookouts um i know these are they're not overly difficult to obtain but the fact that it is like i was looking for them and uh somebody came through for me and i, I you know i always i definitely do appreciate that um the flight gloves dude so there's air zoom flight gloves these things uh bring back memories for myself uh i remember getting these i was working i was after high school i was working uh and I had a buddy that I worked with that loved these. His name was Kirk. He loved these shoes so much. And um, I remember I saw these at Marshall's for $40. It was $39.99 at Marshall's. And uh, I told him about them. I was like, yeah, they have those gloves that you like there. And he's like, no way. Seriously, like, that's crazy. Like, so he uh, went to Marshall's and he bought a whole bunch of these. And I was like, why? Why would he buy more than one? I just didn't understand the concept back then. And he's like, well, because if I if I um, buy more than one, it's like a shoe that I really, really like. I can pull out a pair like later, like years later and still have a brand new pair. And I was like, wow, that's people like actually do that. I really I mean, at that point, I was really young and I didn't understand like people actually buy more than one pair of shoes and uh, and um, and just to sit on them and stuff just for whatever reason. And now look at me like I'm the hoarder of hoarders. But uh, but it was the first instance I ever knew of somebody. Uh, doing that and it was all for this shoe and, and again he got him for a great price $39.99 and it made sense because he's like you know what if they don't ever come out again or, or if, um, if I buy them like I'll, at least I'll have a, a couple extra ones that I'll have available for for later when these ones get you know beat up or whatever and so I was like yeah dude I guess that makes sense um, one thing I do remember for these gloves this velcro part right here on the side uh, it always got stuck on the neoprene right here and it kind of pulled the thread of the neoprene upper off a little bit, but that was just that's kind of the way I wore them. I kind of wore them like down a little bit because I did buy a pair too since they're forty dollars. Um, one thing I do remember also is the soles um, weren't sticky when when I bought them from Marshalls. There was kind of like sometimes you get the in the older shoes like it's kind of like has like a a baby what is that baby powder kind of finish to it or something so it's kind of slippery that's the way those ones felt it didn't have the best grip on them so i'm not sure if they improve the grip on these ones or if it's pretty much exactly the same after a while it'll be a little bit slippery who knows uh quite honestly I, i'm not i don't know but um this shoe is is a cool shoe though i really liked the neoprene upper the the whole uh glove the monkey glove or the monkey paw or whatever you want to call it i always call it a monkey glove or a monkey paw um right here kind of for the support on the side I think that's what it was for and it says exo exoskeletal and I believe that's what's talking about for this because it's kind of like an exoskeleton underneath his skin you, you know what I mean like kind of uh I think that was what they were going going for it says articulation 1.5 on this side I, I don't actually even know what that means if you guys know leave a comment but uh but a fresh shoe man I think in the inside yeah it says air uh, zoom air on the inside um this is the colorway I like this is probably the only color I really want except for the Oregon State colorway that's uh, going to be coming out in November, which is gray and, and orange, of course. So definitely looking forward to getting those uh, when those come out. Um, these shoes are dope, though. I mean, if you guys like uh, different shoes or whatever, I mean, these are a throwback. Not a ton of people are going to know about these things, but I'm, I'm really actually happy to see them bring back a shoe like this to the, to the younger audience, ones like you guys out there that are 15 and 16 and they've never seen uh, these shoes before. It's really cool that, that they're bringing back something as iconic as these to somebody like myself. And like I know Nightwing is a big fan of these as well. Um, but it gives you guys like another look at some something from the past, which is something I like to do as well in general. Like pulling these out and, and just buying these on eBay for just this great price. 
the Pippins, the the Pippin gloves. This is like an evolution of this glove. So I, I always thought, I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. Like it's like an evol evolution of the original glove. And then this one is the one that they actually, and I showed you guys this in a previous video, if you guys didn't see it, but the whole entire shoe actually comes out in this one, on this model, which performance wise, these things are horrible uh, because it didn't really work right. But pretty cool. And you can see the monkey glove, the same, pretty much the same on, on both of them. Uh, it's a little bit different. Like here, it's a little bit more rounded than, than uh, rigid on the other one, but but it was a fun, uh, it's fun to be able to just grab some of the older, some of the older releases like these and just bring them out. Just, just, just show you guys kind of like what, um, I don't know what we used to like back in the day. It's totally different nowadays. Everything's so mainstream. There's Jordan retros that are always like there. Then there's LeBron's and KD's and Kobe's, you know, and that's pretty much it. But, um, I don't know. Cool shoe to me. Glad I was able to get them. And, uh, let me know if you guys actually pick these up or not, or if you guys just think they're hideous, you don't really understand them, but uh definitely a, a fun pickup a nice retro feel to these guys the uh the gloves the and the, the glove gary payton um if you guys didn't get the connection uh gary payton which gp was his signature shoe back in the day and then the uh the pippins in the back uh gary payton had a version of those as well so kind of cool but that's pretty much all i got it's just a quick little or not so quick video of these and uh, again shout out to the subscribers for looking out i was able to get mine uh, and I was uh, definitely happy about that. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping in. Peace